Hello and welcome to another crochet tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how I create these curly cues that I have used for hair, most recently on the mermaid that I made for my niece. I would have that doll here to show you, but I already gave it to her. So we're just going with an example here. You can use these for more than hair. I've also done this with crochet thread. So the thickness of yarn you use does not matter. What matters is how you're crocheting, okay? So I have a chain started, what you need to start, okay? Just to shorten the amount of length that you're actually watching me do stuff that you already know how to do, I got the chain started. Now the longer the chain is, the more curly your strand will be and the more pretty it is. I do recommend you have at least 10 chains, otherwise you just get maybe a little bit of a curl like this and it's not much so for bangs maybe that'll work but if you want to get an actual curl going the longer the better okay I have a short chain here much shorter than I used for that one just so that way you don't have to watch me single crochet for very long okay now believe it or not chains actually have parts this here is the front of the chain where you have the V looking part, okay? Now the back has this back ridge to it and that's actually named the backbone. If you're reading a pattern it says work into the backbone and that's what it's talking about. So we're actually going to be working from the front and we're going to work into this side strand, okay? Not the back strand, but the side strand, okay? I'm just getting tight back on the hook and wrapping the yarn around my finger. Okay. Now you always skip this first one and work into the second chain. Okay. And just this one chain here. You don't want to get more than more. Excuse me. You don't want to get two loops under it. Just this one. And make sure it's the side and not the backbone. And you're going to single crochet. And you're going to do that all the way up the side. Okay. So it's actually fairly simple. This is all it really takes is working up the side. Single crochet. So you need to know how to chain and single crochet and you can make these. Sorry. Kind of looking through the camera here and it's a little bit harder to tell where you're going. One extra tip here is that when you work into here, you're then going to stretch a finger to pull this yarn tight and it pulls the previous stitch tight, which makes a tighter curl. Okay. You can also do this with half double crochets, double crochets, and I'm using US terminology here. It won't be quite as curly but it will be thicker, okay? That was quite obvious, but there. It still curls, just won't be quite as tight as this. So I'm going to quickly finish this up. And one thing I wanted to point out here is don't worry if it doesn't curl on its own. Once you get done all the way up here, I'll show you what to do to make it curl. It just needs a little help sometimes. So I'm just doing this quickly. Okay. Two more. It's starting to curl a little, but it's going to be a lot more curlier than that. Now, you can either tie off here or leave it, and I'll show you what a trick you can do if you leave it. Okay. So give it a little twist, help it twist, and then you get to be curly. And it will hold that curl, okay? Now, this obviously is shorter because the chain I started with is shorter. So, the chain I started with was about this long. So you can see it shrinks up quite a bit. So when you're deciding how long of a chain you might need, keep that in mind. 
Now, most directions tell you how many chains you need. But if you're making something on your own, it might take you a few tries to get it to the length you want. Okay, so if you left it, get it back tight. This is what I did for the mermaid, is that after finishing that one row, I just went into another chain. Okay. And then crocheted up and it came another curly cue. Okay. So you just keep doing that. You can make it as long as you want. So you have a bunch of strands and they're all connected. Less sewing for you to do. And it gets you that big hair piece. Now if you go check out my mermaid video, I show the hair on there. I lift the top layer up and you can see how the bottom layer was made like this. Where it's just one connected to another. And to, at the length that I needed. Okay. Now that is a paid pattern from a book. So I'm not going to actually give you the instructions for that because that's a big no-no um but if a pattern calls for that that's what they're doing is it's making less sewing for you and it just they're all connected together okay if you want to design design something for yourself that's a great way to do it as well just keep in mind how much your strand will shrink how much your strand wow how much your strand will shrink when you're curling it even as you begin and it doesn't curl, just give it a little help and you will see it shrink, 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 shrink. So, <clears throat> chain length does matter here. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps all of you know how to make your curly cues now. I would love it if you spammed me with your photos and stuff like that in the comments below of, of you making this kind of stuff. You can also leave comments of requesting certain types of videos. If I know how to do it, I'll make a video on it. So thank you for that. I'm also responding to comments. I get notices on my phone and I respond usually within a few hours, depending on what's going on. So subscribe, please. Thumbs up. Let me know what else you want. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.